let's take a little trip. Let's go down Route 129 South. Runs between Tennessee and North Carolina. On that stretch of road, there's a place called the Tail of the Dragon. It's 318 turns and 11 miles. And it is an adventure that is second to none. Beautifully nestled in the Great Smoky Mountains is a motorcycle rider's dream. A challenge of skills that will test everything you knew about riding and then some. I don't care whether you're on two, three, or four wheels. When you finish that course, you're going to want to kiss the ground. I took the challenge. I'm proud to say I slew the dragon. Got a big old patch that says so. But I can also say it kicked my butt. And I can guarantee that I needed fresh underwear when I got off that motorcycle. Now, being a relatively skilled rider, I was apprehensive, and I was excited all at the same time. Every time you come in and out of some of those curves, the apprehension and the excitement is with you all the way. Now, being a lone female rider has its own challenges. On this course, you really got to remember, you ride your ride. Don't let anybody get in your head. Don't let anybody rush you. There are folks out there for speed and thrills. And there's lots of, quote, trophies on the tree of shame that those that thought they could, didn't. And like I said, you ride your ride. Now to the curves. Lots of beautiful sweeping curves. And then the ones that they affectionately call the switchbacks. Now, where I come from, those were called kiss your ass turns. Because the front end was going to meet the back end. The curves have some names like the whip. Uh, the pearly gates. The Parsons curve. And I think my favorite is called Biker in the Bank. Don't want to know how that one was named at all. The skills, the tools that you need in order to tackle the dragon. Lots of back brakes, lots of clutch, counter steering, leaning. But the best tool is a clear head. Going south on 129 from Tennessee to North Carolina, a lot of the curves will give you views of the Great Smoky Mountains that few will ever see. And it is very intimidating. When you're coming up into a curve and you look out and all you can see is treetop and blue skies. There are some beautiful overlooks. Stop, take a breather, get your heart rate back down. The dragon's not going anywhere and you really need to enjoy what North Carolina and Tennessee have to offer. When you reach the end of the dragon at Deals Gap, take a break, spend some time talking with the other riders. You'll never meet a stranger on the dragon. Make sure you check out the Tree of Shame. Coming back north on 129, it is really comforting when the mountain is on your right and you don't feel like you're going to fall off the mountain. North or south, the tail of the dragon is there to kick butt and take names. Enjoy the ride and make sure that you don't have any parts 
added to the tree of shame.